Hello guys, this is Prankur. Welcome to my channel Begin Endless Automation. And today we will see how to use Microsoft Office 365 activities in UiPath. And for that, let's first of all see how to configure settings in Microsoft. So for Microsoft settings, first of all, you will have to go to portal.azure.com. So I have already logged in, so it will open the page. Now on the home page, first of all, you will have to click on Active Directory option. Once you click on that, you will see a screen like that. And in the left hand panel, you will see App Registrations. So just click on App Registrations. Then go to New Registration. You can name it anything like OneDrive UI Path. Then here you have to select which directory you want to use. Uh, single tenant, tenant means organizational directory and multi-tenant means any Azure active directory you can use. And then you just have to click register. So I have already created one app registration. So I'll cancel this and I'll click on this. So once you register your app, it will look like this. And from here, we would need this application ID and the tenant ID. That's it. This was the configuration needed. There is one more thing after copying this application ID and tenant ID. You will have to click on API permissions and add permissions to select all the services on which you would be operating so first of all click on microsoft graph then delegated permissions it will list all the services and as this is the first part and we would be only using file services so i'll just scroll it down and select file services file read file read all I'll read it on the right and all those permissions and in the next videos we would be using services like Outlook planners and others so you just have to save these API permissions and you are good to go so now let's move to UiPath and see what packages we need to install before communicating with Microsoft Office 365 in UiPath, you have to click on Manage Packages and go to All Packages and type UiPath dot Microsoft Office 365 dot Activities. You will have to install that package. I have already installed it. So first of all you'll have to select Microsoft Office 365 scope and under that only you would be using all the activities related to that. To configure this scope, if you go to properties, first of all, you will have to select how uh, the authentication will be done. So first of all, you will have to select authentication type. Uh, it is the uh, interactive token, username and password, application and secret, application ID and certificate. The certificate and secret key you can get from uh, Azure portal. So as of now, I am using interactive token in which once you have given the consent to UiPath application or studio to interact with the your Microsoft account, you will be good to go along with that you will have to pass the application id and the tenant id what we got from azure portal and that's it now if you want to use files and folders you should first use find files and folders activity this will return a drive item because it would be an input for other activities that you would be using for the files and folders 
So if you see the property, it has two input properties, query and subfolder. Query is a free text. You can write anything like file name or folder name. And subfolder would be the folder into which it should look for files and other folders. Now output first is the first matching file or folder and result would be a list of files and folders. So I have given main folder here. So if we see in the drive, I have a main folder. Inside that we have a subfolder. So it would be matching subfolder as the first folder matching. So inside that it would be doing operations. So I have put the result into this variable result and let's see which type it is. It is of type Microsoft graph dot drive item. So firstly, let's create a folder folder and we should pass the drive item as an input let me run it it is very fast so as you can see it is completed so it should create a new folder inside the subfolder so this is our main folder so I'll go here and then subfolder let's refresh it it's a while to reflect here so you can see that it has created a new folder here now let's see if we can create a workbook here so for that you will have to write create workbook you just have to name it like demo file it would be of type excel now in the parent property you will have to pass the drive item so i'll pass the result of the previous activity and i'll run it so it should create a demo file here it is running now it is completed it should create a file here it has created a new file here so now you can open this file it is empty for now let me close it and let's try to delete this so let me write plus 365 for all the activities files let you let's use delete item i'll pass the input as drive item now we want the excel file and it is there in the subfolder so in the subfolder we'll have to change it like subfolder so that it would look into subfolder and we'll have to give the file name as demo file now it should delete that file so let's run it and see if it deletes it it is completed let's see if it removes it from here try to refresh the page so as you can see it has deleted that excel file from here let's remove it from here so in the same way if you have the drive item as an input you can use copy item download file move item share item load file so for copy item you just have to pass the drive item and the destination folder and the new item name in the same way if you want to download a file you just have to pass the drive item and the local path where you want to download the file if you want to share the item you will have to pass the drive item and the type uh, to whom you want to share like specific people organization or anyone else apart from the organization as well with the type of permission like view or edit so i think this is it for the files and folders we'll meet you in the next video with the other services like calendar email and everything else till the next video thank you so much for watching